wheelbarrows and we dump it in the pile over there and then every now and then it actually gets burnt to fully break down the waste and ensure that it's environmentally sustainable. This over here is the manure pile that comes from the hoofed stock from the Holsgup Zoo. So the ungulates and other species like that. Basically it um, stays here so it can break down and then once it's more broken down then we actually relay it in some of the paddocks and this is used as a fertiliser. So this is the berry pit at Halls Gap Zoo and what I've got in this bucket is old food waste and um, bones, so just like um, rubbish meat products and what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to add this to the pile that um, we're going to bury and then I'm just going to put some fresh soil over the top to help it um, decompose and break down in the soil. This will help pests to prevent from them digging at it and trying to resurface the product and, and consume it so let's go Done. In regards to environmental regulation, in the burn pit, the matter that is being laid in the burn pit is if it is accessed by wild birds or wild animals or wild pests, if they consume it, they will not um, become ill, it's not harmful to them, it's a um, mostly natural product that we're laying in this pit and we are cremating it by burning it weekly and properly breaking down the product so it is safe for the environment it's not polluting the environment and it is getting we're getting rid of the waste essentially um in regards to the berry pit we only bury um products that will break down naturally in the soil so this may be meat products uh food products waste products from faeces and urine this is not products like plastic or um, rubbish that will not break down in the soil because this is unhealthy for the environment and it is not safe in regards to the fertilizer pile this only contains uh, manure and hay so we are actually using the four r's with reduce reuse recycle and recover by relaying this fertilizer this compost sorry, by relaying this uh, waste as a fertilizer and a compost material. So we're actually making use of rubbish products. Everything at Halls Gap Zoo um, is followed by their policies and procedures manual in regards to waste management and they do their ultimate best to follow environmental regulations and ensure that their waste disposal is safe for the environment.